see everything I can harvest. <laughs> Wildflowers. I'm like a squirrel. <laughs> Goldenrod, daisies, chamomile. <laughs> Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. Uh, Mark here and my wife Tara. Uh, if you're new, uh, if you stumbled across our channel, we um, are a small little homestead in uh, Anola, Manitoba, Canada. Uh, and uh, we have a, a petting farm here. We take in animal rescues as well uh, from the general public as well as government and private agencies. Uh, so we do have a few new arrivals that have come in this past week. Uh, and we're going to go out and do our evening feed. It is Friday evening. And Tara's got all kinds of stuff I know. all over the place. Catnip, lamb's ears. Oh, I just, oh it's that time of year. <laughs> and we found sage growing wild in the ditches uh, in the area as well, too. Yeah. So I think you want some of that. I know. Yeah. Well, I've got, I'd like a plant. Like I think I have sage up front, but it's it's a different variety. So yeah. we'll see. So, so um, if you are new, um, then click on that subscribe button and follow us around. Uh, if you've been watching us, we thank you for your support. Uh, and um, let's get to it. Right. All right, so the morning and evening feed kind of goes the same. Uh, and this usually happens here. The alpaca are first in line. Uh, so we bring the alpaca, we bring the pigs in, uh, which you can see PD is right there. Uh, and Blackie, oh yeah, there's Blackie. So Bla <laughs> right there. Blackie is on a mix to gain weight because she's old, so she's senior. So she's she gets uh, alfalfa pellets and goat sweet or goat sweet or 60-30-10 with molasses. Yeah, basically rolled oats with corn, uh, and then it's blended with molasses. Uh, we don't normally do that. We did it at the beginning, yeah. um, but we found out that the molasses was just too much. Uh, we called it goat crack. <laughs> we only use it to put on weight. Yeah, so, whatnot, so so Blackie gets that just to, to keep her maintained. Pigs get a, twice a day they get a uh, pig pellet, which has got all the vitamins and stuff they need. Alpacas as well. Other than that, they get hay. It's just a, kind of an insurance that they're getting their, oh, Sid. Sid needs a home. Oh, Sid. Sid's a law. He's Sid an English law. Uh, he came in a few weeks back, <laughs> and he is, uh, he's just hanging out in here. Well, because he's... He is a uh, intact uh, male, I believe, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. The so only way we've got I can possibly here. keep him is if I get him fixed. But then it's, it's so... Rabbits don't do well with surgeries. Yeah. So... So that's Sid. Sid the rabbit. And then we have Henry and his girlfriend, Jolene, Jolene right, like the uh, Dolly Parton song. Jolene has started to lay eggs. She came in, oh, a year ago yeah. from animal control. And, she was uh, in pretty rough shape at that time. She was in very, time. very rough shape. She weighed probably, like she was just bone, like she was so hollow and so just, yeah, death's door. And uh, she's doing well, so now she's laying eggs, which is awesome. Ricky is new. Yeah, Ricky, I was going to say. Where is, is this Ricky He's over here? Ricky there. Okay. So Ricky was uh, found in, uh, got it behind you. Um, was it Oak Bank? Yeah, I... oh, he's giving you the side class. He was found in Oak Bank by somebody. Um, if you are missing a rooster, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we work with uh, rural, one of the agencies is Rural Animal Management Services. Uh, so basically, they're kind of like a, a city pound, but like kind of a country pound. Uh, so they don't take. Well, I guess they do take in cats and dogs as well, don't they? Yeah. Uh, and then of course, uh, wayward roosters, pigs, he sheep, was found goats. By a, whole, uh, a guy though, like not animal control. He was just found by. A man who he was hanging out. He said he's really friendly. He is. There he goes. He is clipped and well maintained. <laughs> nice weight. So he just he flew the coop. <sighs> so if you rooster flew the coop. Then All right. Her. So alpaca. So we've got one station here. We've got another station set up over here. Uh, usually the boys will go to one section. The girls the other. Uh, the pigs uh, each have their dish back here. And then, of course, Blackie's got hers. So we're all ready. Right, Ricky? Ricky knows it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> all right, kids. 
slide around the corner. Okay, you get in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blackie, There's Blackie. I'm, I'm in the way. They know where to go, and here comes the. Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes we get some that. Uh, want to sneak in. So that's uh, Piper and there's Petey. Come on, Petey. <laughs> Come on, Petey. Petey, are you getting old? Well, they are. Yeah. So he's going to go to the back. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got Paula. Oh, Paula in the back there spitting at Chansey. So the two girls are in the back. And then we've got Java and Jasper up front here. Paula's usually the one that's uh, that's spitty, <laughs> and uh, it's basically around food. Java pushes Jasper. Too. Yeah, yeah, they all have their. <laughs> Jasper prefers good hay. Yeah, Java. he uses his neck. <laughs> that's why Jasper doesn't want to eat. <laughs> push his neck against the container, you nutball. Well, and usually he'll do it to the point if if Jasper was on the other side, he would just go down and eat, eat with the girls. the girls. Oh, but Java's gonna do it. Like he's gonna get spit on. And you can tell when the spitting is gonna happen is the head tilts up. They're gonna get a nice gobber ready yeah. for it. So let's see here. Oh no, Paula's behaving. <laughs> as long as you have a good quality hay, they are fine on hay. But the pellets is nice. It's a it's a reassurance that they're getting what they need. Yeah, just to make sure they uh, they get the uh, the minerals and uh, vitamins and everything they need. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Yeah. The odd time when they're coming in from the back, if they don't come in, then we just miss that that because they're enjoying outside. So. They, uh, yeah, they love going into the back, especially yeah, in the see, his evenings. his wings are clipped. Oh, did he? Uh, his, well, they're clipped. They're cut. Yeah. So whoever, whoever owns whoever them. had them, yeah. clipped his wings, so which we, is just the flight feathers on the back end, uh, so that they don't get away. And obviously, uh, Ricky beat the odds. And <laughs> Ricky, were you told about coming and living here? Uh, <laughs> You're a handsome boy. Are you done, Jasper? Just a little bit, Jasper says. <laughs> That's all I need. All I need. All right, you ready to go out? Yeah, block Blackie down. Well, okay, I got... Oh, no. Blackie she... likes to go down and steal yeah. baby pigs. Okay, hang on. I know you're strong. Okay. Okay, all right. All right. Oh, it's behind you. Away you go. I go need on. those oats behind you. Oh, you need the oats. Nobody can fit out with the sheep here. Where are the oats here? Right here? The, the barley and, yeah. So Tara's going to take this out and feed the birds uh, and distract everybody away from the door. There we go. There it goes, Turbo. So now, as they go out to get some grains, the door is available. <laughs> Little tricks we use. All right, Java. I mean Jasper. Well, and Java. Okay, one. And Java. And Shanzi. And Petey. Yeah, he's got to check out and see if there's any food left on the ground. Petey's out. Come on, Paula. Pa Paula. No. <laughs> Paula. Out you come. Come on, out you come. Out you come. There you go. Where you go. Out, 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 out. Okay, so we're just missing one. Which is Piper. Piper, did you get everything? Did you get it all? Okay, come on, girl. She might need coaxing. Those are guinea, by the way. Oh, Tara's got at the door, so I'm going to coax... Piper out. Okay, away you go. Let's you go. Move your bum. Move your bum. <laughs> yeah, Saunders out. Slowly. Come on, Petey. Come on. You can walk around her. 
There we go. All right, so at this point in the evening, after the animals are distracted out eating grains, uh, then we will put hay out. Sometimes we bring hay out as well in place of grains. Uh, either one will get the animals away from the door. So they've got a bunch of feeding stations just to keep the peace. One, two, three, and we've got... Oh, okay, and then... Uh, the fourth one is just kind of over in the corner there. Yeah, well, I throw them in every corner, but they still have a lot of hate from the And Sheldon, Sheldon, Onyx, and Lexi. We've got to do these fly strips this weekend. So they've got too. theirs. And then uh, the kids are out there. So we've got David and Daphne, uh, the two kid goats. Uh, and then some random ducks and geese. Uh, that's Ritzy there, actually. Uh, a very friendly Pekin duck. Okay, so yeah, it's mainly for the birds to eat the grains here, but of course um, the animals, the sheep, the pigs, the goats, uh, they take full advantage of it. Now, uh, something you want to watch with uh, rumen animals, which, you know, sheep and, uh, and goats, uh, is you want to make sure you don't give them too much grain. Now, us spreading it out like this ensures that they eat it eat a small amount over a longer period of time. Um, we learned years ago uh, about bloat. So you can give too much to a rumen animal and what happens is they'll eat and eat and eat and eat and then uh, they can't regurgitate it up which is what rumen animals do. So they'll burp it up, chew their cud or chew the remnants and then swallow it back down again and process it through their stomachs. So if they eat too much at once, which with grain they just love and they will do, um, it expands in their stomach, maybe they might drink some water, they get too much in there and they can't burp up, and then they, um, they build up gas, yes. um, which is called bloat, and they will pass. So um, if you're going to be giving your, your goats or your sheep uh, treats, then keep it down to probably uh, a quarter cup a day, yeah. I would say. Um, of course, depending on size, too. Uh, so the other animals we got in, they're actually over on the other side of the pond there. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that. But there is um, there's an African and a Sebastopol. Yeah, but and Patrick, what's is it Patrick the other one? over there with them? Patrick over there? Which oh, is, right, because that's Sebastian, so that's Patrick. Right, which is a, um, uh, uh, not a Danish, uh, Czech? Czech, a Czech goose. Czech and then there's a couple um, young ones, yeah. which are the African and Sebastopol Cross, crosses. Yeah. So we'll go over there and check them out in a minute. But look how um, big the babies are getting. Yeah, this, this ducklings, the Muscovy ducklings. Yeah. Well, and it's different because the ones in the pen, it's the, I bet you it's the duckweed. It's just, it's They're fattening so, them up. Yeah. That's what's on the pond over yeah. there and why it's green, duckweed. And uh, yeah, so the ducklings or the Muscovies, they tend to go and hide and lay eggs and then sit on eggs and then poof, they appear. Yeah, 31 this year. With, was it 31? 31 total oh. this year. <laughs> yeah. So um, we have lost a couple to some crows, uh, but overall, um, no. most of the population <laughs> Uh, held. But so. they're great because I'll tell you the babies, the babies eat so many flies. Oh yeah. Like they, during the day, they are eating a fly every two seconds. Like it's, it's so, I mean, it's great for management. Is that Billy over there? No. But no. Yeah. No, we. Billy has a way bigger afro. We yeah, put, well we, I'm wondering if because he's out, he got picked on maybe a little bit. No. Uh, the other roosters yeah, that it's... were inside that were going to Sherry's, um, she took three out of the nine, so they're back yeah. out here. She didn't so have there's a space to take yeah. them out once. Yeah, so our um, um, the woman who does the hoof trimming for our um, our ponies up front, she wanted some roosters, roosters so she took some roosters. Control. Yeah. Yeah, look at Blackie. She's putting on some nice weight. Oh. Like, you know, it takes time, but okay, as she sinks, sinks in. She, she's <laughs> well, the and her senior coat's one. nice. Yeah, her coat's really yeah, nice it's going nice in. Nice and shiny. Yeah. Uh, but she is, we don't exactly know how old she is. 13. She's been with us since 2014, I think yeah. it was. Yeah, and they were like 
Three, four years and old. it was her and her mother, Silver, yeah. original names, Blackie and Silver. You can probably guess what color Silver was. Right. <laughs> look, at, look at Piper's fur, like hair. Yeah. It's coming in nicely for winter. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll get about an inch and a half long, and that keeps the air pocket between the hay and their bodies. Yeah, and then, of course, they'll just sink right in. So for my work, uh, I do work off farm uh, as a, uh, an inspector for mold and asbestos. Uh, and I was down about half an hour south of us uh, at a, uh, a rural property. And they had a couple kid goats that were about three months old. Um, right around two and a half to three months old. And I noticed the boy was uh, not fixed. So I mentioned that and he says, yeah, we got to do that. You know, how do you do that? And, and then they were learning. So I probably spent half an hour just going over all of that stuff with them. Uh, to both Tara and I and Tiana, we all enjoy um, teaching and learning, you know, getting, getting that knowledge on taking care of animals and, and what needs to be done and just sharing that, uh, that knowledge with uh, you, the viewer, and, and people on other social media platforms and in public. Uh, so they had a few questions and of course one of them was the grain and the bloat. They actually had an incident where they had a female uh, that did bloat and pass. Uh, so I mentioned to them, I said, well stop by the farm this weekend and um, we can band, uh, band the little boy. Uh, so there was a cat named Chevy <laughs> uh, and then there was two, there was Tahoe and Sierra. <laughs> so Tahoe was the boy and Sierra was the girl. Uh, so I guess they're a GM family. <laughs> um, now also another question they asked was, what do we do in the winter time? They hadn't gone through a winter uh, yet with these ones. And I said, well, as long as if you don't have to put a heat lamp, they came with a heat lamp, uh, you really need to watch heat lamps and, and barns and fires. Uh, it's probably, I would say, the leading cause of fires on the farm uh, is, is a heat lamp. Uh, now, our building over there uh, is, um, is just the wood, and then we put poly around those openings uh, to let the sun in, and that actually helps warm it up a little bit. But it's still minus 30, minus 40 degrees in that building, uh, and it's the hay. So by the time that temperature comes around, there is enough of a base of a hay that uh, they can nestle into. Uh, also, goats uh, going into fall, into winter, they'll get a second coat. It's a uh, kind of a, you can think of it as a down coat uh, that grows in amongst their hair. And that also keeps them warm. So as long as they're, they have a shelter to get out of the weather, get out of the elements, uh, and they have some bedding to snuggle into, that's really all they need. Let's see if I can just zoom in a little bit and we can get a look at the newbies. So, um, so the guy who dropped them off, uh, he's got some health, uh, health issues that came up and he can't take care of, um, of the animals he has, so he wants to kind of downsize a little bit. So we've got the Sebastopol, which is the, uh, the, the one that looks like uh, he's in a dress. And of course, now that they come in, the other ones are, <laughs> are protecting. So we've got the two small ones up front, which is the uh, blend of the African, which is this one here, uh, and apparently the Sebastopol. So that's their two little ones. All right, I'm not going to walk any further because the electric fence is right over there and I don't want to push them out any further. Uh, so those are the newbies. Um, okay, so um, kid goats. So we've got a little snow here. Uh, so we're gonna keep uh, snow. These ones were born uh, first week of April. And then we have Muana, which is Holly's little one. You can probably tell there. Um, so she has a home she's going to. Uh, we have um, Mabel or Maple. Always get the, I'm, I'm still not aware of, of the actual name. Uh, and then I think that's it other than the, um, the other kids, the bottle babies, which is Blackie's kids. So she didn't produce enough milk in the spring and got red eye. So pink eye. a pink eye, well, like red, pink, it was a shade of red. <laughs> uh, so then we got Sheldon and then these two. So these are the two bottle babies, uh, which is Blackie's, which we have David 
and we have Daphne right there. Uh, so we had um, three goats leave this past week. Chandler, Joey, and Ross, the Friends crew, uh, headed off uh, just this past week. Uh, so the other ones are going to be picked up, uh, well, probably, you know, in the next week or so. As people kind of get used to or get their pens ready, um, you know, we encourage them to make sure everything's ready. If they have any questions about anything, if they're new at it, um, you know, we have kind of a revolving door policy get their hay um, in order. To, to let us know. Yeah, getting hay in order, which is a huge thing. So if you are planning on getting animals, um, look at hay and always get more hay than what you need. Uh, yeah, we, we have 600 bales. Yeah, so we have a year and a half in, in yeah. storage. Okay, oh, there's Fernando. Was Fernando put away? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think he wants out. <laughs> oh, Fernando. He must have been do it, uh, being difficult, uh, so he went into timeout. Yeah, your timeout's done. Come on. No. Oh. Okay, no, this the other way. No, the other way. Don't beat me up, Fernando. Is that not what you want to do? Oh, look, water. Okay, no, keep going. Keep going, around the corner. There you go. All right. Fernando's there. Now, now he's going to poof up, probably. I love you, Fernando. Or he's going to give Tara a hard time. Every time. Yeah. Watch, turn yeah. Back. Our little raptor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, close the gate. Leave him in here. <laughs> At I least can't he. Close the gate. Look what he does to my hands. He can. He can jump over. <laughs> <laughs> don't. I don't need it on my leg either. Fernando, don't bite or peck the hand that feeds you. See, look. Oh my gosh. Chamomile. What? I'm seeing pineapple weed. I'm oh, seeing, pineapple weed. I'm yeah. like, now pineapple weed is. It's of the chamomile family. Yeah. So if the, you did Mark doesn't something. understand that. Chamomile. Sure, it's a tea. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the chamomile, daisy, that kind of, so that family. So it's very good for skin conditions, which some of you have asked. Well. <laughs> Why don't I use it? <laughs> because I don't care that I have psoriasis. Psoriasis is a healthy man's disease. It's my superpower and I'm really okay with it. Mm -hmm. It's more work and more energy when I could be napping to make when a bath. I don't napping. have time to sit in a bath. <laughs> yeah. No, we have a bathtub, but we haven't used it. I, I used it once. It's a mouse hole. Oh, I, I put a rock in the, like, the other one, but I guess I dug another hole. I think they're under there, hmm. under the building. Yeah, so, could be. Saw the chickens freaking out the other day. I'm like, they caught one. All right. Yeah. So it uh, looks like they're up front. I'm to wash this one. I washed everybody else. Oh, yeah. I've got to clean out that. That's a little green. Yeah, yeah. with the warm weather. Okay, all clean. Fill them back up again. So during the summer months, of course, it can get a little green because of the, uh, the temperature. And uh, so we've got two of these, one for the back and one for these guys. Uh, this one is the um, 2900 uh, Little Spring. Right there. Um, uh, Gallagher supplies them, Gallagher Animal Management. So if you, uh, if you are have a farm, if you are starting a farm, I will put a link down in the description yeah. for 10% off of Gallagher Animal Management product. So I have to go into this. Okay, seriously. Clover, edible. Pineapple weed, edible. Plantain, one of the best. Like, it's just like, ugh. But if anybody knows what sweet grass looks like, I think I have some growing and I need to figure oh. it out. Okay, so where's our, uh, our ponies? Ponies! Really? <laughs> yeah. They have no idea what ponies mean. Well, they're hearing somebody uh, yell. There's Daisy. Levi! Hey, Daisy. You good girl. 
Hi, hey, oh. Carl. Handsome. Hi, Daisy. Hi, girl. Enjoying the nice you. evening, the beautiful evening. Well, we got to give them a treat. Grab, your, uh, grab your some hair, of those. Your hair looks magnificent. The broadleaf weeds. Those are the ones that. Oh. 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 You got to treat them when they come, right? <laughs> Daisy came too. We got to get some for her. Here's some. Yeah, here I got some. Oh, you got some? Okay. Some nice broadleaf. I'll get the next batch here. Are they even gonna come? Come on! Hey, hey, hey! Come on, Billy! Oh! I see you! I see movement. He's just. They're so handsome. He's just trotting along. <laughs> trot, 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 trot. You're so handsome. Look at you, Studley. <laughs> Don't here. <laughs> here take the whole yeah, thing. Take the whole thing. Jeez. <laughs> Oh boy! No here, here, Carl. Here, I picked this just for you, <laughs> or or one of you. They're so handsome. Uh, yeah, his coat is yeah. really nice. Unfortunately, his horns uh, have taken damage over the years <laughs> from. Uh, Don't touch the fence. From his headbutting. <laughs> yeah, save that. They're not coming. No, they're not no, coming. They're still sitting in the same spot. <laughs> Hey. Oh, these mosquitoes. Uh, what are you doing? Choke cherries are ready. <laughs> so if anybody wants to do some syrup jam or whatnot, all the choke cherries are, are becoming hard and I'm not harvesting them this year. So if any, maybe I will. I don't know if any, if somebody doesn't come and pick them, but we've opened it up to come pick them. Yeah. Yeah. And they are, we've got quite a few trees. Yeah. Uh, with choke cherries. We made oh. that two years ago, was it? Uh, we made choke cherry syrup and syrup. choke cherry wine yeah. and um, jam and jelly. Yeah, so all kinds. So, the syrup. so there it is. If you're in our area and you want choke cherries, come and get them. Yeah, there'll be choke cherries now over the next probably two weeks, choke cherry. Then the elderberries will be ready. If anybody does hazelnuts, lots. All right, well, that is it for another video. Uh, those newbies that uh, were at the beginning, I hope you stuck around, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I can see them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions uh, about what we do here on the farm, uh, or any suggestions for things you want to see, uh, please leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.